But Seth Collins arouses the crowd with this play right here, Yogi. <laughs> Leaving his feet. That's, well, that's not in the book. Collins, lots of time. Man breaking free. To say Seth Collins has been through a lot over his three years in Corvallis would be an understatement. What a dart thrown by the freshman Seth Collins who just wound up and delivered a bomb. Collins started his freshman season as the Beavers quarterback, but head coach Gary Anderson had other plans for Seth in his sophomore year. What happened after you guys wanted Seth to move to wide receiver? Well, Seth was uh, very conflicted. He still wanted to be a quarterback. At that point, he came in and said he was interested in transferring, which I didn't want, but I was going to support. I just wanted to play quarterback. You know what I mean? My mindset was, I know I can play quarterback. Here we go. Control down. Here we go. Put it down on the move. As we push fast forward, he found a school that he thought that he wanted to go to. I believe he went on a recruiting trip and what have you and, and was going to leave, but he stayed here that quarter to finish up school. Before it's time to leave, I'm just thinking about the stadium playing here at Oregon State. They, I mean, you want to play here. It's just, it's just a place you don't want to leave, to be honest with you. As we rolled through time, Seth came back in my office one day and said, Coach, this is where I want to be. This is my school. I love Oregon State. Can I come back? And I said, Seth, on my, in my mind, you can absolutely come back. But I want to take it to the, the kids on the team and the leadership committee, and I want to you know, have them have a say. And to the power of Seth, it was like that fast. His teammates wanted him back. Wildcat. McMarion then gets it back to Collins, and there's nobody in front of him. Little razzle-dazzle by the Beavs. Talk about some of the things that Seth Collins needs to work on as a wide receiver. Seth has done a great job adjusting, man. I think there is no trans. He's so talented. There is no transition, in my opinion. It's just him understanding what he needs to do and how he needs to get it done, and he's very coachable. Good, good, good. At the end of the day, it was best for the team, and plus, you know, it's, it's another position I can show that I can play and, and feel like I can dominate. Uh -huh. I like touching the football, so if I'm touching the football, I'm good. Wherever I'm at, it don't matter. I mean, God has everything happen for a reason, so I'm never going to question that. McMarion taking a deep shot. Seth Collins gets his first target of the night. You're having a good year and then you get to the UCLA game. Take me through that situation. I just remember <laughs> not even really being able to walk, really. Just felt like a truck hit my head or something, ran over my head. I remember like people having to help me take my pads off and like help me get out the shower. It was kind of like, I didn't know. I felt, I felt like I just had a bad concussion or something. It took like six hours for me to, after the game to get to the hospital. So they didn't even really know what was up with me really uh -huh. until like they gave me like two spinal taps and then then they were able to tell me that I had a bacterial meningitis. Mm. So, and then they told me I had the worst strand too. I feel you, man. I don't even be talking about this no more, man. Yeah. During that whole scenario, what he went through, what his family went through, I was there some of the times, but I can't even imagine it. I don't know. I don't have any idea of having a child or being in the position that Seth was in. It was a blessing to have uh, somebody support, you know what I mean? Along with my family, and my mom and dad, by my side, to see, you know, your coach, you know what I mean? Because you know this is a business. When times hit you, not everybody, not everybody there for you. Welcome back to the Civil War, and what a great sight it was. That is Seth Collins in the long black coat, just released from the hospital on Thanksgiving. It means everything to have him here today. They want to win this game for him. After suffering a finger injury during training camp, Collins returned to the field on September 16, 2017. As the Beavers take the field today, first conference game away from home, and they're looking for a spark. Well, they just got it. Their dynamic wide receiver, Seth Collins, who has been out for some time, was a game-time decision, I'm told. He is back in the lineup. Garrettson play action, throws for the end zone, and it's caught for a touchdown. What was your approach after that, like when you felt like, okay, I'm going to get through this? There's nothing to fear no more, really. And what's the, the football is easy. You fighting for your life, it, it, you know what I mean? On, and on that field, it's, it's, it's a blessing to be out there.